This is part two of the Z-axis rulers installation. And in addition to the Allen wrench and hex wrench that came with the printer, you're going to need some other supplies. Uh, one being a napkin. You're also going to need a couple of index cards, some needle nose pliers, some side cuts or snips, a 19 gauge wire or paper clip, some paint. I chose red for this particular installation and my favorite two beverages of your choice. So we're going to start on the right side of the gantry. You're going to loosen the top bolt. Just want to do it a few turns, maybe three turns or so, just enough. We're going to actually slip the wire in behind the uh, bolt head, so you want enough room for that to happen. Using your needle nose pliers, you can uh, curl the end of the wire so you can slip it up in behind the bolt head and then kind of crimp it a little bit with the needle nose pliers. And you want it sticking kind of horizontal, doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll go ahead and tighten that bolt back up. And we'll repeat the process on the left side of the gantry, again using the top bolt. Now we need to level the gantry to the frame of the printer. And you can use uh, calipers, you can use a ruler, tape measure, there's any number of ways you can do it. Uh, shade tree mechanicry. I prefer two cans of Yingling lager and they're empty. Uh, they're the same height so I just set them on top of the rails and when you raise the gantry or uh, lower the gantry you want to make sure that you turn the couplers. You don't want to really turn the z-rod because you have a chance of stretching those couplers out so you want to spin it by by rolling the couplers in order to raise or lower the gantry. Uh, you also want to make sure that whatever you put underneath it isn't going to come in contact with the belt which will affect the level of it. You just want to catch the back side of that 2020 extrusion frame rail that makes up the gantry. It's a bit of a time consuming process and I just as much as a uh, calipers are more accurate, my printer is inside of a closet space and it's difficult to get to the back side of the printer easily. So it's easier for me to just set two things that are the same height and level it that way. And so you'll have to change each side back and forth until you can get it pretty level. And I actually ran into an issue where the gantry was moving on me in the next step. Um, so you may want to leave the cans underneath the gantry in order to prevent it from moving. Um, you can lock the gantry, lock the motors to, to try to prevent them from moving, but uh, over time the motors will unlock. Now we're going to bend the wire on each side in order to line up with a hash mark. Uh, I recommend that you try to bend it and align it with a long hash mark, which are 10 millimeter steps. The medium hash marks are five millimeters and the small hash marks are one millimeter each. The ruler placement wasn't that critical because we can line up the wire with whatever mark we want to on either side of the printer. So as long as they're on the same marks, they'll stay on the same marks throughout the entire uh, print process. Try to get it as best as you can and, and as close as you can to the rulers. And when you think you got it there, then go ahead and get a pair of snips, side cuts, and, uh, and cut the wire off on that side. And then we repeat the process for the other side as well.
and now we're going to paint the needle marks so that they're a little easier to see. So tear your 3x5 card or sheet of paper or whatever you want. We're going to place this in behind the needle so that we don't get any paint on the gantry. Um, because I'm a cheapskate and don't want to clean a brush, I just grab the napkin, roll it uh, into a fine point, and we can use that to dab into the paint. Slip the card in behind and dab the napkin into the paint. We just need to get a little bit on there and make sure that you don't slide the card out like I did there. And just get a nice even coat of paint. You don't want to blob it on there too much. And then slide the card out and voila. And now we do the same with the other side. Again, just a nice even coat. This is acrylic paint, so it covers real easy. There's no mess, no fuss, and uh, easy cleanup. If I get it spilled anywhere with water. And now you're done. Uh, so now you can see the needle marks uh, matching up as I move 10 millimeters. And another 10 millimeters. And then one millimeter steps. And you can compare one side to the other to make sure that your gantry is not off level. Uh, once you get the two sides lined up to the same marks, they should stay that way. And if they ever get off, you can just adjust it.